Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 46 of Direwolf20's Let's Play, not too complicated series, uh, where today the plan is I want to set up a little bit of automation that I've been kind of wanting to set up for a while anyway, um, and that is I'd like to automate the production of Blitz. Sounds like a good time to me. Now, are you guys going to have a problem with the fact that you're like touching, or are you cool? I think you're cool. I think you're fine. I think you're totally good about the fact that you're touching. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so I would actually like you to be here. And then you here. Sweet. And then the chest. And that works for me. Perfect. Okay, now we just need to get some blitz into you. Export bus, a little bit of cables. Uh, so today's episode is primarily going to be focused around can we get to the point where Mark II energy condensers are automated? And if we can in this episode, then I'd like to get these guys going so that we're ready probably soon to start making some of these, which is, as we know, really expensive. Really, really expensive. Cool. All right. So uh, this is all up and running. We're good with this thing now. So let's export bus. Uh, what is it? Is it Blitz Moats or Blitz Powder? What's 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 the thing that we turn into Blitz? Molten Blitz. Uh, it is the Blitz Powder, which we don't know how to craft, but we can easily get it from the moats that we have. So let's get a crafting card. You're taking longer than I would expect. There you go. Boom, boom. And I think I can probably just run, tap right into here. That'll work. Cool. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. And then I just need to teach you how to make blitz modes and then we'll be good. Remember, we're getting Blitz from our mob farm, or uh, maybe we are. I think we were for a minute, and then I could always put another Blitz in there. So now you're cooking. Sweet. And then it should just be a matter of doing this. And that is Infinite Blitz now. Cool? I like it. Molten Blitz automated. Beautiful. Now uh, I can melt my diamonds into a bucket's worth of diamonds. Now, how many diamonds are going to be? One bucket, 152 millibuckets. Good. I want the bucket of diamonds so I can use it for filtering. And then I'm going to break and replace. Cool. And then over here, I would like another drain, please. Uh, and you need to be reconfigured for output, and you need to have your filter placed back in you. Where is that filter? Where'd it go? Did it fall? I had a filter for Soul Bucket. Every time I break that smeltery and reform it, it turns this off, and the, uh, the item drops, which is kind of annoying. That's right, we might have to make a new filter, uh, from pipes. Me a couple of these okay cool and then uh do we still have our bucket of soul seal yes perfect all right so you're gonna get this dude this dude and that's your filter for whitelist now you i like using this wrench with these pipes for some reason i can't give you a reason why but you are gonna get molten diamonds and we want diamond plates are these plate casts no they're they're ingot casts okay cool so what we're gonna want is a seared casting table and then I'm going to get my plate cast boom and what I might do is instead of you being an import bus what I'll throw is an interface here so 
So this way we save ourselves a channel and possibly more in the future. So if I pop that dude there, grab our item pipes and extract extract, that should be automated diamond plates. So now all I gotta do is say a diamond plate is going to be one gem's worth of diamond. So it's very simple, just gonna be you and a diamond. And you get added to this guy. So now if I want 11 diamond plates, they go in. Oh, he's in blocking mode, that's okay. And then you're gonna drain. Perfect. And it's working. Nice. Now that we have that automation up and running, we can investigate automating the basic auto crafting table. Now, the downside with the basic auto crafting table is there is no fancy version of it. Um, packaged auto has an advanced package crafter, an elite package crafter, and an ultimate package crafter. The bummer is that they do not have a basic package. I don't think. Pretty sure. And I remember seeing this and being like, no, they do have one, but it doesn't have a crafting recipe. So I don't know if that's a pack bug or a mod bug, but there's no crafting recipe for it. There's crafting recipes for the other three, but no crafting recipe for the basic. Um, so I'm assuming we still need a packager and an unpackager. And I'm assuming we still do... This thing. Okay, so let's get you let's put you in here let's load these and then you're going to be a basic pattern to make mark one energy condensers and save i guess right now do we have ender biotite we do have some can we make it there is a seed for it so if we get to the point where we need more of these we can absolutely just do a seed and call it a day okay so that's good news and then the diamond plates and the alchemical chest so i should also teach you how to make the alchemical chest real quick um, so that we're ready for that, you know, whole process. So you're going to be this guy. Um, you are this. This. And this. And then we also have to do obsidian barrels. Which we just go down the line of gold, etc. I guess that'll work. Do you know how to make barrel barrels? Uh -huh. What do you mean? Uh -huh. Hello. That was a thing that just happened. <laughs> what was that? I know it was a wandering trader who was invisible because it was nighttime, but still, still pretty hilarious that he was just standing right in front of my terminal and goes, uh -huh. uh, I was asking if I know how to make barrels and I do. Can I make like 200 of them? Yes, except for, okay, but you do know how to make, okay, good, perfect. No, nope, we're good. We're good. Sweet. All right, so then you guys all go into here. So now you know how to make alchemical chests, and you know how to make all the components of an alchemical chest. Cool. So you should have no problem making, like, not a thousand, but 20-ish of them. Yeah, perfect. All right, now that we've got that, Let's test out this auto crafting table thing. Yeah. So you two come with me and you're gonna chill. You might need power, I don't know. Yes, apparently you do. Okay. Uh, so we've been putting unpackager and then packager now let's make sure that our channels are groovy for this. Now I'm going to assume that you don't actually even connect to that table, and I am correct about that. But you do need power. Boom. Okay. Shift and left click to save this recipe. Cool. Now there might need to be a chest in between these. I honestly don't even know. And frankly, because it's a three by three recipe, I could probably do it without packaged auto, but what I like about packaged auto is you can put 20 recipes in one. 
So that's kind of cool. That's kind of the reason I'm doing this and also just to see. Um, so then if I put you in here and I put you in here, will you be cool about making an energy condenser? Start. I have no idea. Blocking mode disabled. That's good to know. I think this means that it has a craft in process, but it can't fit it in here. Okay. Um, what I might need to do is program it in there. So let's do this. Biotite plates and alchemical chest. Give me one of these. Bada bing, bada boom. Did you save? Shift and left click to delete this recipe. Okay, no. So it saved, but he doesn't seem to have wanted to extract it automatically either, which is a little bit of a bummer. So what I might need to do, let's go cancel this recipe. I'm assuming you're in here. Cancel. Does that mean that you're all cool? Now, if I were to break you and get a chest, because I think you might need a chest on top of it. Did you go into the chest? No. I'm just going to break you guys. OK. I feel like you go into a chest. So maybe chest followed by unpackager, followed by packager. Okay. So let me make another alchemical chest. Give me a bunch of plates for a sec because I have a feeling I'm gonna be testing this a little bit in, in, in excess as I think we got it working now. So um, I don't think the package or unpackager process seems to be working very well. So I don't know if it's, if I just don't know how to use it with the auto crafting tables. I'm assuming it's designed to be used with the package crafters. Um, so the way the auto crafting tables work. So remember, these are different mods. This is packaged EX crafting. So this is a mod that's designed packaged auto and packaged EF crafting to integrate the big crafting mechanics with applied energistics. This extended crafting mod is just a bigger crafting table mod that also happens to have an automatic crafting table in it. So what you have to do is first, you have to put the, the recipe in there manually and then real click hit shift left click to, to, um, save the recipe. Then once the recipe is saved, he'll pull from the chest above him to receive the resources he needs. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up an ME interface here that will insert the required items into the chest or the barrel, and then it'll craft. And then I have an import bus on the back that I just hooked up to import bus. So now if I look for energy condenser, we'll see we have one. If I want four more, that shouldn't be a problem. It's just gonna put them in there. And then they're going to boop, 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 easy peasy. Now we've got four energy condensers. So energy condensers are now auto craftable, which is cool. Uh, if we want Mark II energy condensers, uh, that is going to be elite crafting tier. So we're going to want to steal this package and this package real quick. Bring them over to here. Load them up. Okay, and then this guy will be your elite tier, and luckily I can do that and save it. Okay, so now we'll figure out what items we're missing, and I assume it's those crystals. I assume those crystals are what we're missing. I guess we'll find out. Cool. So if I want energy condenser mark two now and hit start, you're going to tell me you're missing dark matter blocks and red matter blocks and the eternal crystals. Not a problemo. So dark matter and red matter shouldn't be a problem, right? I can, I'll probably just make them manually for a minute. Um, and then what I'll do is we'll do them with, you know, the other way in a bit. Cool. So that covers that for now. Now the Mark II energy condenser, the only thing we don't have is eternal crystals. So that's going to be a thing we're going to have to figure out how to auto craft.
So combination crafting from extended crafting is this guy. So let's see if packaged auto has a thing for him, because I think he does. Combination package crafter and marked pedestal, um, which I guess are different thingies. And we're gonna have to figure out how this works, because I have no idea. But I think it's basically gonna replace this, which should be cool. Uh, I would like to automate this machine, and that's what we're gonna figure out together, uh, probably right now-ish. Cool. So let's come back uh, in a minute. Once I, well, you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna steal all these things. Okay, and we're gonna put all this away. And considering I made these in the past, I'm sure I can make them again if needed, but I shouldn't need most of this anymore. All right, so let's go upgrade this guy into his version of this, right? So we're gonna need ME packaged auto, com you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna, short of manually crafting everything, and this is why I missed the control click mechanic of refined storage, because boy was it cool. Boy was it cool. But I put these guys in here now. And you and you. And then I assume what I need to do is make the combination package crafter. We should already have the combination package crafter. No, that's what we're gonna craft. We should already have the crafting core, but we're missing crystalline cows, really? I guess we never taught you how to make those. Uh, so you should probably learn how to make those. Okay, so now combination package crafter, which we already have the crafting core, so start, and that should kick off all the things. Don't you love it when automation just works? Don't you love it when it just works? It's the best. Uh, cool. And then we want eight of these, I assume, which we already have the eight pedestals available, so that's easy enough. Now, are you augmented? You're not really augmented well. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. I just noticed I was crafting a lot with that. I'm like, eh, he could be faster, right? Probably. Okay, so he's in process. What's the slowdown, really? Usually it's my induction smelter and the pink slime stuff. So uh, let me get this put together and then I'm probably gonna experiment with a little bit off camera and then I'll come back and show you guys how to use it. Deal? So be right back. All right, so uh, this was just super easy to set up. I mean like super easy. Uh, so the combination crafter goes down, the unpackager and packager go on top. Remember, I don't think the packager has to be here. I just like putting them because it's way easier to have them grouped together. Uh, and then the marked pedestals just go in their positions around. And that's literally all there is to it. We're done. That was super, super easy. Um, so now if I go ask for eternal quest crystals, and what I did between uh, the cuts there as I ran to the end uh, and mined up some more ender shards, uh, and I can probably turn this off. I needed the the name for the tags to, to filter on, but I uh, used my digital miner to mine up a bunch more ender shards. Uh, that's probably your best bet at getting them. Uh, the only way to automate these bad boys is with sieves, and even with a netherite sieve, your drop chances are okay, but you need to make endstone dust, which only happens in a squeezer, um, which only happens in a squeezer, and endstone, I mean, we can get endstone essence. So if we decide that we need thousands of this under shard, we might go this route and figure out how to automate sieves, because um, there's no easily automatable sieves. There's no, like, RF-based sieves, so we'd have to do something with, like, probably... Integrated dynamics, yeah, player simulator would have to do that, for sure, I think, is what we'd have to do. Uh, so anyway, uh, I should be able to ask for 11-ish of those, and then look, it just goes. That's all there is to it. The unpackager just plops it right in there, along with all the adjacent dudes. Um, one note is he does need his own dedicated power source. He's not drawing energy from 
uh, the uh, applied energistic system in the same way the other ones do. So you have to give him power. Uh, but otherwise, that's about all there is to it. And it's it's working. See? Eternal crystals are happening. So that's easy peasy. Not too bad. Sweet. So now I can put you away. And then at this point, we should be good to make an energy condenser mark two start. Right? Um, yeah. I'm going to let these finish crafting. And the other thing I want to test is, can you... Yep. That works. All the particles. I love it. All the particles. Super cool. Whoosh. All right. So now energy condenser mark two. Next. Available. All the things. Start. Um, and I assume that you're all cooking up a bunch of soul steel, which is awesome. Um, yeah, that looks like it's behaving itself pretty well. Okay. Okay. Soul Steel will be a little bit of a delay, but other than that, not too bad. And just a refresher, Soul Steel did not have a seed or EMC way of getting it, right? Um, nope. No seeds, no EMC, just, you know. Bees, maybe? Bees? We never did bees in this pack, did we? Nope, we definitely did not. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll take a look at bees. We'll see. But yeah, look how good everything's behaving. I love it. I love it. Yeah, the casting table's a little slow. That's that's the one bummer. Not the end of the world, but a little slow nonetheless. And then if we popped it down to here, I guess, are you going to indicate that you're doing anything? Probably not. Okay, cool. All right. So then you will probably at some point soon craft. Yes? Pretty soon, too, because we're just waiting on that soul steel. I want to go look. Oh, look, there it goes. Boom. It did it. Sweet. Mark II energy condenser. Fully automated, by the way. So I should have no problem requesting, like, 11 of these bad boys, and he will make them all, right? Uh, and even if I took away all the energy condenser Mark ones that I had, if I wanted, like, three of these from scratch, it would make the Mark ones, and then it would make the Mark twos, Right? So I call that fully automated Mark II energy condensers, which I'm excited about. I'm going to ask for like 11 of those. Sure, why not? Do it. Have fun. Right? All the things are probably going to happen. Look at all the crafting. Look at it go. Sweet. And then you're probably doing a lot of things, and we got a, probably a lot of soul steel happening. I hope that you're a big enough dude to handle all the soul steel. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. That's right. We put you on blocking mode, which makes that... Way better. Way better. Yeah, the only slowdown is you, which I'd like to be able to find a... Is there a faster way to handle this? Probably not. You know what I could check? You know what I'm curious about? Soul Steel. Um, you could fluid encapsulate into that, but there's not even, like, a freezing recipe for it. There really isn't. Like, there's not even a, you know, Magma Crucible leeway. way. All right, and now for even more fun things. Uh, I'd like to take one of my new energy condenser mark twos, and I'd like to target diamonds. Okay, so you're going to target diamonds, and you're going to... Um, that and that. Okay. Oh, we're out of sand producers. Okay, cool. Good to know. Uh, now, if I threw diamonds in here, are you going to... Oh, you'll do double compressed diamonds? Okay, I'm down with that. I think that's cool. Now, now for the, now for the, now for the, this is going to be fun part. Uh, netherite uh, pipes upgrade. Give me a few of these. Okay. I would like you to automatically go crazy, right? Like all these guys have been. And then I'm going to get myself. Boop. Some white matter. Now remember, white matter is pretty good. I might go bananas and go with the, you know what? Let's do let's do this. Let's go let's go the top tier. We're gonna go with the fading matter, which is just like the bananas level EMC, right? I don't think there's a better matter. Fading matter is your your like ultimate, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I don't think there's anything in the pack probably that has more EMC than that. So if I pop one of these into this diamond, how many diamonds are we gonna get from this fading matter? I have no idea. 
<laughs> we're gonna find out together right now. There's one in there right now. There's one. You know, I'm even gonna take it out. I don't even want that one in there. I want it to be literally completely empty, right? Zero, 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 go. And we're making diamonds. And we're making diamonds even faster. Now as a reminder, for the shard, we need only 1.37 billion diamonds. Which is far less than the Mobius fuel that we need. Just saying. We'll get there. Now, I can tell you for sure that we're not going to get 1.37 billion diamonds because... Fading matter is 261 billion, right? And diamonds are 8,000 EMC. So that doesn't math, right? That doesn't math into a way that means one fading matter equals enough diamonds for us. But we're going to see. Oh, wow, we already had 8192 compressed blocks. Okay. Uh, we're going to want some door upgrades. Right? So we're at 700-ish thousand. We did pretty good. I love it. Yeah. Let's go for broke. We're at a million. We're at a million diamonds. <laughs> it's such a small amount of diamonds. <laughs> it's such a small amount of diamonds. Uh, it's not even near enough diamonds, because we need 1.37 billion, and even at this rate, it's going to take us, you know, 1.37 billion. We're one one-thousandth of the way there. We are one one-thousandth of the way there. That is, um, that is comedy right there. Did we run out of fading? No, no, we're so good. You just have such a silly amount of diamonds in you. Or are you full? You can't be full. No, you're not full. It's just it's just such a silly amount of diamonds. Uh, my tick accelerator wore off, so that definitely happened. But it's it's such a silly amount of diamonds. I'm curious, like, where our drawer is going to cap out. Um, and then follow-up problem is if the drawer caps out with this, even with double stacking, Mobius... We are not going to be able to double stack Mobius blocks. I don't think there's compressed Mobius blocks. No. So we can get block form, but we can't get um, double compressed. So we may have a little bit of a problem here, but we're going to find out. Uh, now, what I could do, what I could do for the final shard is I could just do Colossal Star Omegas or Colossal Star Spheres and like break the craft up into pieces. So this only needs 17 billion diamonds, right? Am I crazy? 17 billion. I thought, I thought the star was 1.7 billion. No, 137 billion. Okay, yeah. So if I wanted to go like, you know, this guy, we're getting close. We're getting close. Colossal Star Omega, right? Because we need eight of these to make the final star piece. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm so curious as to how many diamonds I get out of this. We don't quite know the answer yet. Uh, you are still filling up with diamonds though, right? Yep. Slowly but surely. <laughs> slowly but surely. <laughs> Making the diamonds happen. All right, we'll be back in a few. So one thing I worked on off camera a little bit um, and I had to do a little manipulation. This thing is not as perfect as I would have hoped for it to be, but it's all right. It, probably partially because I was tick accelerating. But uh, one thing I worked on off camera uh, was making enough um, stellar alloy ingots to make some Mark IV power pots because uh, we're running through uranium pretty good uh, at a pretty pretty healthy pace. So I wanted to throw uh, some insanium seeds here. Uh, so I'm thinking like. Four more chests of uranium. Maybe, maybe, maybe three more should be sufficient. To be honest with you, actually. Um, and I guess you're allowed to touch each other, right? You can, you can be connected to each other. That's fine. That shouldn't be a problem. 
And then we've got, I want more pipe upgrades here. I do like the pipes mod, you know? There's some, there's some parts about it that I don't like that I would like minor changes to, but overall, it's a really good mod. Cool. So now you guys should be Mark IV making, which is awesome. Yeah, I don't know how much you make, but I suspect it's a lot. You know, if I took this out of here, we can see. Oh yeah, it's like two stacks for growth. And it grows like pretty quickly. Uh, reminder that I set this thing up too, by the way. So we make uranium kind of automatically. Um, and that should get us a net gain on uranium again. It's because I doubled my uranium production. It's something I've been kind of paying attention to in the background while this episode has been going. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? You're still making your last couple stellar alloys? Sweet. So that should have us uh, one more uh, Mark IV power pot ready. So everything works pretty smoothly. Um, just might need a little bit of babysitting now and again. Especially, I think tick accelerating this guy is a bad idea. I think it causes him to use the liquid faster than the liquid is produced. And as a result, we wind up stepping on each other's toes with the whole liquidy thing. But now we've got a Mark IV, another Mark IV power pot that we can plant something else in if we need it. So uh, where are we at with diamonds? That's a good question. You are still going. It's actually been like half an hour and this thing is still making diamonds for me. Uh, where are we at with diamonds? Six million. All right, not actually so great. Not so great. I need, I need, a, way to, I need a way to transfer them faster because they're not moving fast enough. They're not moving fast enough is the problem. Six million diamonds is not a lot of diamonds. And the problem is, is that the, the, the compressed blocks and blocks of diamonds, like normally you would have EMC on the compressed block of diamonds, right? And then you could just make compressed blocks of diamonds and that would be way faster. But we can't do that in this pack. So I have to find a way to transfer items faster out of this chest. The, the, the throttle for the production of diamonds is no longer how many diamonds we can make. It's how fast we can get them out of the chest and into a larger storage medium that will allow me to store. Because remember, we need like billions of diamonds, okay? This shard needs, you know, 137 billion and we're at 6 million. So it's going to take like years for us to accumulate enough diamonds. Um, probably even if we were transferring out of this chest as fast as humanly possible. Um, I'm going to have to see like... I don't. I can't imagine anything that can transfer it faster than a, than one stack per tick, which is what we're getting with Ultimate Pipes. So we may or may not be making the final shard. We'll see. I'm leaning towards we might not get there. But what's cool is we uh, definitely have lots of EMC, at least. And the benefit there is that we can make lots and lots of resources. So I'm excited about that. It's just, you know, things. Uh, how much can this tablet store i have no idea wow we have 138 that is bananas we've got two stacks which is five trillion each is that hundred thousand million billion trillion yes holy cow 12.8 trillion emc i think we're in good shape i feel like we're in pretty good shape here and we could absolutely ramp this up right like like the trillions of EMC will be, so like I'm gonna I'm gonna be ready here. I want all the sand, I want all the redstone, all the quartz, all the glowstone. I want I want all the resources being made with fading matter now. So even though we had like stupid amounts of these things, remember we used stupid amounts of those things, and then we ran out of the EMC because we threw red matter in there, which is hilariously small. Red matter. <laughs> adorable. Adorable red matter. With your with your with your tiny amounts. Alright, so you're not gonna connect, you're not gonna connect, you're going to extract, and I want your target to be iron. Because iron's one of those things that we never have enough of. Not anymore. Not anymore. So if I did this, you would be double compressed iron. I would call that enough. Um, and then we've got nuggets going on over here. Frankly, should I just do the nuggets? Maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, 
Maybe I'll do the nuggets just... Well, no, because I don't want like a stupid number of nuggets. And that's what we're going to wind up with. So let's just... Let's let it be... And if we ever run into a problem where we don't have enough nuggets because of reasons, then we'll deal with it in the future at some point. Um, yeah, so then you should be good to go with ultimate extractors. And then we should be accumulating iron at a very rapid pace once I put you in there. Now we've got iron for days. Cool? Literally like infinite. But not infinite enough. And that's our problem. So I'm going to have to figure out, and we should probably do the same for Mobius Fuel. We, should, we might as well get that going too, right? I think, I think that would be cool. So you target Mobius Fuel. You get a transfer pipe. You should not connect to you or you. Okay, well what you should do is extract. And now that you're targeted, you should be good. And then you can have the ultimate upgrade as well. And then you're just gonna empty that all out. And then a fading matter means infinite. Well, you know, within reason. Now this is obviously gonna fill up to 8192. And that might need to be more upgrades because remember Mobius Fuel is another one that we need effectively stupid amounts of. But I think for now it's wrapping up point. So I'm going to do this just so you can store all the Mobius Fuels. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have a problem. And that problem is going to be transferring these items fast enough. We're producing them at a stupid rate, but we can't get them out of the container fast enough. So that's going to be a thing we're going to have to deal with, right? We'll figure it out. Uh, for now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, we're getting there with the stupid amounts of EMC thing, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to figure out a faster rate uh, to to handle this. So let me think about it. We'll see what we can come up with. For now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.